welcome back to The Secret of Monkey Island. We are still waiting here in the corner for the Blair Witch. She has not yet arrived. I feel like I'm, like, way stiff in this playthrough. Sorry about that. Um, right now, I'm not just standing here for no reason. Next time the cook comes out of the kitchen, that guy in the other room said that we can go in here and get our own drink. We're gonna go in here, but since we don't have a mug, we're gonna pick up some other shit. So we're waiting, because he takes his time coming out. And you have to wait for him to go past the dog curtain. Or else he'll tell you to stay out of his kitchen. Which is understandable, because why the fuck are you going in here in the first place? So, I'm gonna pick up this pot. I'm gonna pick up this meat. And I'm gonna open the door. And this seagull just came down and flew down and got this fish that I would really like. So I'm gonna go over here. Bloop. I'm gonna bloop it again. And I'm gonna bloop it a third time. And go pick up its fucking fish! Look what I did, motherfucker! It's like, where the hell's my fish? Peace! So, the, um, easiest time to pick that up is when on your fourth time hitting the board, but you can do it on your third if you're fast. And I'm fucking fast! Anyway, you can stand in here literally forever and the cook won't come back. And here's a Pillsbury Doughboy. So, uh, I'm coming out here. We're gonna walk right past the chef. We didn't do shit, man. We weren't in there stealing your meat or your pot or anything. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh yeah, and you can't talk to this guy. You can't talk to any of these guys. I talk to everyone you can talk to. Mancombe, Cobb, and Esteban. And now we're going to leave. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir, nothing like it. Ah, uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir, glad to be dead. You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Ah, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Yay, don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. So, that's LeChuck. He's evil as balls, but he's beautiful and I love him. All right, let's go this way. We have not been this way yet. We're going to an archway. <gasps> it's a whole town! Let's talk to this guy. He looks shady as hell. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? What? Never mind. Good night. No, you don't! Look at his shoes, they're just like mine. Excuse me, but do- Oh, it's only you again. Uh... My cousin Sven sends his regards. <laughs> I see. Let's talk business. Oh, don't flash me! You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only a hundred pieces of eight. Uh, I don't have any money. Not even enough. I don't have any. <laughs> And buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. All right. See you later. When I've got some money. 
You don't want a fish? Can I give this fish to him? It wouldn't even let me. Did I not click? Yeah, it won't even let me give it to him. That's weird. What about this meat? I can't give anything to him. I might stand out stand. I mean, but it lets me, like... That's so weird. I mean, given that I know what to do, I know that, um... I, I shouldn't be giving any of those things to him, but it's very strange that it's not letting me at all. Let's talk to these guys. Hey, nice rat! <laughs> you like rats? Yeah, I love rats. Oh yeah, especially in a light wine sauce. Ah! Get away! <laughs> what was that? Did that guy hit that guy? Because that's usually the noise he makes. But why would he make that noise when it was this guy talking? So, what you can do with this is you can you can hit the rat. Hey, don't mess with my rat! And you can keep hitting the rat. You just run the mouse over the rat. I said don't pester the rat! Oh, no. I'm not going to warn you again. Leave the rat alone. Oh, hey, man. Frank, make him quit it. Oh, your rat ran away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was better off without you. All right. Um, do I want to talk to these guys anymore? <laughs> I apologize for what I said about rats. They're very intelligent creatures. Ah, ha, ha, ha. More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. <laughs> but true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. I thought it was rats. <laughs> Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? He's sneaky as hell. Want to buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the birdcage liners you get from that clown across the street. Shifty eyes! Ha 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 ha! No, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? <laughs> no, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> hey, you guys pirates! No, our wandering circus troop. But some idiot chased our train rat away! <laughs> it was me. Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? Hmm. What's in the keg? <laughs> it's rum! Get your story straight. Can I have some rum? It's rum and jam. That sounds fucking disgusting. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? How come you guys... How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing? Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternative means of self-support. It says alternate. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well until the rat scared off the elephant. And now some jerk scared off the rat! <laughs> it was me, guys. Now you've depressed us. Go home. All my voices sound the same. The last good voices I did were for Halloween Atome. They were like the first and last good voices. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back the way I came. Back past the scum bar and up to where I was when the game started. 
parrot. Pirate parrot singing on a guy's shoulder who's trying to flash me and sell me a map. Ho, 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 because I need money. I have two pieces of eight and some minutes. Let's read the minutes. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. He's not going to read them. Oh, man. That was the menu. <laughs> I didn't mean to click outside of the screen, but I did. All right, so... Once we go past this guy to the path, another area of the game that I couldn't find forever when I first played. <laughs> now, we can go to this clearing. This lovely pink dot. We see little guy brush walking over there. And we can go down here to a very pretty widescreen shot of a circus tent. I like that a lot. I think it's nice with the lighting and stuff. So let's go inside and see what's happening in the circus. I don't know why those pirates didn't join this circus. I'd get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I wrote my hand tame in the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You'll have any allergies, you fake, or you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Weasel! I'm selling these fine leather jackets! Hey there, son! How'd you like a once-in-a-lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat? A death-defying feat! Oh, well, not so death-defying, really. A dangerous feat! No, not so dangerous at all! An easy feat! But exciting! With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well-known, fabulous flying for the genie brothers! That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? I do. All you have to do is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So what do you say? You like my horrifically horrifying... Mario and Luigi accent. I love it. Okay. How much will you pay me? Because that's what I'm here for. I'd like to work in the circus and make a hundred pieces of eight so that I can get a map. How about 400 pieces, 78 pieces of eight? Um, oddly enough, that's 478 for no reason. Sounds good. Have you got the helmet? I do. Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for, fettuccines? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. So I'm gonna give them my pot. I have a pot, which is a perfectly nice helmet. There you go. Oh, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Zip right over here, son. I'm taller than both of them. What are they call me son for? I also have a huge head, I realize. Now put on your helmet and get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. I want some fine pants. Echo! Echo! Like they have. Ah! It works! I'm so relieved. Take your time coming over to see if I have a concussion. Hey! Are you okay? So, um, that big ad for Loom earlier, the lead character of Loom is named Bobbin Threadbear because they have a thread theme in Loom because the magic that they make, they weave into tapestry and it's also musical based. I, I feel like it was just like a reason to have a musical based weaving game just because someone at LucasArts wanted to make one. But, yes, that's where that's from. But I'm going to say, where's my helmet? I usually say I'm Bob and are you my mother, but let's not. Where's my helmet? He's all right. Hooray, we are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Why does my Italian accent sound like Transylvanian? Anyway, that's how you get 478 pieces of eight. By smacking your head into a pole. And now the Fettuccini brothers are fighting. 
If only they could get along. They would be the handsomest Fettuccine brothers on all of Melee Island. So now I have 480 pieces of eight because of those two extra pieces I got from the pirates. And I'm going to come back up here. And I'm going to go by that map. And it's going to be pretty swell. Let's go back to town. And get a motherfucking map! Alright. Here we go. Clicking away. Past the scum bar, smiley face. I should close the door. I feel a little guilty about that, but... Whatever, they can close their own fucking door. So let's talk to the citizen of Melee again. Excuse me, but do... I forget his voice. Oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, eh? I did. I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. So I've got a map now. I can look at it. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. So the fact that you see this and can't like immediately call on the guy, like tell him that he gave you a shit deal is kind of bizarre, but okay. Hey guy, can I talk to him? I told you there was only one in existence, meaning one map. Oh, they won't let me talk to him anymore. Well, that's cute. So, I'm just going to try to go in a random door here in town. And go inside. And I come out somewhere else. But the only door that doesn't do that... I can look at this sign first. Let's see what it says. Ye old rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. Serving your rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. It's good that someone's taking care of that business. So I can go in this door here. Get inside. No, get inside. <laughs> and now, I'm in a spoopy store! And this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode of The Secret of Monkey Island. Next time, we'll see who lives in the spoopy store, or if anyone lives there at all. It might just be a spoopy store where I can hang out with this skeleton man and these hanging chickens. Could be. We'll see you next time.